In today's episode, we'll look into 10 very important rainy season gardening tips and tricks for this year's wet weather gardening. Simple but very important rainy season garden tips and hacks can protect your plants this monsoon. A perfectly well draining soil can be assessed by a simple test coming up. Rainy season is the best time for beautiful greenery in your garden, whether your backyard, balcony or even terrace garden. The plants are benefited not only by the rains but also the fresh and cool breeze with healthy air circulation around your plants and also the optimum humidity in the air which acts as a boon for your plants. When it comes to home gardening, especially container gardening, we'll quickly look into 10 simple tips to follow during rainy season. On number 1. The drainage system. This is the most important task to perform in rainy season. Inspect every container for this. You should see the water flowing out of the drainage holes after a minute of thorough watering. Insert a sharp pointed tool like a screwdriver into the drainage hole and make sure it's open. This is very important in rainy season because stagnant water can result in root rot and death of your plant. And this is also the high time for fungus attacks. This stagnation can increase the breeding of mosquitoes and increase diseases like dengue fever and other mosquito borne diseases. Another important tip here is to avoid using trays under your pots, at least during rainy season. On number 2. Watering. Do not water the plants during the monsoon season unless the soil has turned dry or the leaves have started wilting. Remember this line. Overwatering is the most common plant killer and not underwatering. On number 3. Soil. A well draining soil is indispensable for your plants, especially in rainy season. So what is a well draining soil? A well drained soil is a soil where water drains out at a medium rate, neither too quickly nor too slowly. We all know that if the soil is too wet, plant roots fail to get the oxygen they need and they tend to rot and the plant dies. A perfectly well draining soil can be assessed by a simple test. When you thoroughly water your plant, it should drain out from the drainage hole in about 1 to 2 minutes, neither quicker nor too late. You can check out a detailed video on this topic from a link in the description and also the things you can mix into the soil to achieve this goal. On number 4. Earthworms The gardener's best friends and also called as robots of garden. This is the time when they are found maximum and if you find them concentrated in one container, you can pick them up and spread them around the garden to allow best fertilization of soil at multiple places. On number 5. Protect young and tender plants that is your seedlings and saplings from rain. Tender young plants that is seedlings and saplings which are too fragile should be sheltered adequately to protect them from rains. On number 6. Frogs and toads. These animals should be allowed in the garden during the monsoon. These are insect eaters and help the garden to be free from these insects. That is one method of biological pest control. On number 7. Pruning and deadheading is important just before monsoon for most plants. This helps the fresh shoots to grow and increases branching and growth. On number 8. Fertilizers. It is always better to use natural fertilizers than chemicals for plants in monsoon. And also the fertilizer requirement increases during this season. Firstly because this is a growth season for most plants. Then secondly because of rain there is frequent washout of applied fertilizers. Slow release fertilizers like cow dung manure have been proven to be the best manure for plants. You can also use home compost or even vermicompost. You can also use foliar feeding or foliar spray to feed your plants quickly for any deficiencies. During the monsoon season, the stomata or the pores in the plants open up and spraying the fertilizer helps the plant to absorb them immediately. On number 9. For ground gardening, preparing raised beds is so beneficial. Water will never stagnate. For container gardening and ground gardening, make sure you do not have pits around your plants and try to fill it with mulch or try to level it or make it slopey or flat. The main idea is to prevent water stagnation. Then finally on number 10, pesticides. Spraying pesticides should be done during the monsoon immediately after fresh shoots start appearing after the pruning process. Most pests and insects prefer to suck fresh leaves and application of pesticides will help them in controlling these pests. 
this is a honeymoon period for many insects, especially the slugs and snails which can significantly eat away your garden. Best natural pesticide mix can be prepared by mixing 5 ml of neem oil in 1 liter of water plus 1 teaspoon of baking soda and then 10 drops of any liquid soap. Mix well and spray once every 10 to 15 days as a preventive measure or weekly ones if your plants are already affected by pests. This will control all types of pests in your garden including the fungus spot diseases like the black spot rose disease and stuff like that. Please like, share and comment below with your queries and feedback. Happy gardening!